I'm on the cell phone. <laughs> You're not watching properly. I have three A's. Nobody can finish. Okay, right. So it was I mean. Because <laughs> hi, what's your name? Olivia. 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 Thanks for volunteering. <laughs> Come stand over here. This way. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Okay, right. Okay. Now, Olivia. What is, just because you came out, I've got a gift for you. What's your favorite color? Red. Thank you, yes. Okay, red. You're lucky because I've got a red balloon here. I practice safe magic. Okay, now. Now I've got every other color as well. Right, now, Olivia, just hold the bag. We might need it later. Now, you are here to bear witness as to what's going to happen now. Because they're all going to say, it had to happen, it's impossible. You the getuie of the gehoor. You must say, how the gehoor is in the hof. So the judge said, how the gehoor is in the hof. You in my hof seen in 10 months. What did you say? The gehoor is in your hof. Is he my fault that he didn't promotion? Okay, now. So you the witness. Okay, now nothing has been preset. We're doing everything above board. So first of all, do you know, Olivia, that these balloons are magic balloons. Do you know why? Because you can stretch them horizontally and vertically. <laughs> I'm gonna blow it up. Oh, please, I can see the real balloon. Here goes. There's something you don't see often, eh? Okay. <laughs> Normally they're round, man. Okay, right. Now, do you watch, do you, where, you, where are you from? I'm from Stellenbosch. From Stellenbosch. What is it with all the... <laughs> Boss. I the other to cops worldwide the same, you know. I wind the window down, he puts his head through my window, he goes, Meneer. <laughs> I've been waiting for you all day. <laughs> so I said to him, I got you as quick as I could. <laughs> you have been pleased. You know, they caught a friend of mine, he's a juggler the other day. Have you been to Joburg, Olivia? Yes. Uh, anyway, they got that ring road, Musa Concrete Highway. And a friend of mine is a juggler, he juggles with his long knives. And he's coming back from his show and he's got them on the back seat of his car. And the cop stops him. And as he's writing the ticket, he checks the knives. He goes, Meneer, those big knives, what is it? My friend says, no, I'm a juggler. Wouldn't believe him, huh? Made my friend get out of the car, juggle on the side of the highway with his big knives. And I hear at the same time this other couple drove past, they saw this. And the husband looked at his wife and he said, Yes, I'm glad I've stopped drinking. Look at the tests they make you do now. <laughs> now, on that note, I don't know if you watched about two years ago on TV, they had Ripley's Believe It or Not, and they had a guy do a world record. He swallowed 17 swords. Did any of you see that? It's not a joke, you know. Okay. And I'm like, Yes, that's cool, but I'm too chicken. But I want to do it. So, what's the closest thing I do? I'm going to swallow this balloon. They all going to say, I never swallowed it. You're here to bear witness that I do. That it doesn't go into the jacket, up the sleeve, anything like that. <laughs> Is a balloon in my mouth. Okay, you got to, okay, right. Okay. So here goes. I will push it in, you don't do anything. Okay. You just watch. You let him get out of the gun and do Okay, here goes. It's too late, it's gone. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
<laughs> Who won? Now, just because you came up to... Why are you moving so far away? I had a bath. Don't waste it. Okay, just because you came up to help me, I'm going to give you one as a thank you. And I want to know, Olivia, what's your favorite animal? A dog. Okay, very good. I'm going to make you one. His house train is a bit twisted as a thank you gift. Oh, no, it's like not. What's going to happen now is even more impossible than early on. If you blink, you miss it. Are you ready? So here goes. Right, this is so cool. Are you ready? Okay, right. Ooh, wrong side. <laughs> right, so I'm going to make you a dog. So here goes. First of all, we're going to give him a head. That's the head of the dog. So. That's a dog with no legs. Do you know what you call a dog with no legs? It doesn't matter what you call him, he won't come anyway. <laughs> so we'll give him some front legs. So that's a dog with front legs and no back legs. What do you call a dog with no back legs and steel testicles? Sparky. And the same dog after six months, Rusty. Okay. Olivier, thanks so much for helping me out. There's your poodle as a thank you gift. There we go. Thanks very much. Give her a big round of applause.